Here at Power Tips TV, we talk a lot about the business side of remodeling. Now, has it ever happened to you that, you know, it's coming up to payroll time and you're not sure you have the money to cover all the payroll? Or you expected to get a payment from a client and then found out that they went away on vacation and now you're stuck without the cash you need to pay a supplier's bill? Well, that's called a cash flow problem. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you some tips and some ways to avoid that in just a minute. Hi, I'm Victoria Downing and welcome to Power Tips TV. This is where we talk a lot about tips, tactics, and techniques to help you build the remodeling company that will help you earn more, work less, and live the life you've always wanted. So welcome. Now I talked a little bit about cash flow issues. I was talking to a remodeler the other day. They called me up and they were frantic because on the good side, they were growing like gangbusters, getting in a lot of great jobs. But on the bad side, they were growing so fast they didn't have the cash to really help them run their business. You know, they didn't have the cash to grease the wheels of the machine that is your business. So I just wanted to share with you a couple of tips on ways to keep an eye on that cash flow and make sure you have enough to keep the money, the, the business running smoothly and not have to get all stressed out about not having enough cash. Number one, be profitable, right? We all need to make money. Being profitable is the best thing you can ever do for cash flow. Now one of the things that's going to do for you is it's going to allow you to build a nest egg, you know? You're going to build this nest egg in your business and it's going to be sitting over here waiting until you need it. You're going to build up this little fund equal to, oh, three, six months worth of your overhead, right? Equal to that amount. You're going to keep it on the side just in case you find yourself coming into a cash flow crunch. So that's one thing. Secondly, you are going to start to save and have this nest egg built up. So that means you're not going to take all the profits out of the company every year. You're profitable, that's great, but a chunk of that needs to stay in the business to build up your retained earnings and give you this cash that allows the company to flow. Always, always, always use other people's money. You know, that's the beauty of this business. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to be financing and you shouldn't be financing your clients' jobs. You should always be getting payments up front so that you're working with their money to buy supplies for their job. You should not be that bank. Now a fourth tip, think about and pay attention to accounts receivable. I was talking to this company, as I was saying earlier, cash flow problems, didn't know how they were going to pay their bills. It was agony. But they had $60,000 sitting on the streets because it's accounts receivable, they'd done the work, they'd build the client, and they just weren't collecting. So get out there and collect that money. It's criminal to leave your money on the streets when it could be helping you run your business the way you need it to be. There's cops. They're after us. Don't let them get us, Doc. It's all right, baby. I won't. I won't. <laughs> So cash flow, cash is king in this business and cash flow is so important. So pay attention, put these tips into place and keep that cash and grease in the wheels of your business as you're growing and earning and building a better, better life. If you've got some other tips or ideas on how to enhance cash flow, pay more attention to it, control it better, please share in the comment box below. And the rest of you, don't forget to go down there and look. There's going to be all sorts of other great comments and stuff that you can pick up. Now if this is the first time you've been here, I hope you subscribe to Power Tips TV because we're going to be talking about different parts of business management for remodeling company owners every single week. And for everybody, please visit RemodelersAdvantage.com and join our community. We've got a lot of different membership possibilities and we'd like you to be part of our community of motivated, sharp, business savvy remodelers too. Thanks for being here. See you next week.